Hello guys, there's lots of Smash Brothers characters that people want to see in Smash Brothers. And no, we're not be saying Xeno won't be in Smash Bros. for another 8th time. No, we'll not be using that one. Fire's Pass 2, pretend about 5 characters that should not appear on Fire's Pass 2. Characters that are either just terrible, or won't make sense to be in Super Smash Bros. Okay? And here- oh, this is, this is a funny article. Nintendo was actually hesitant to be put- put- Mario and Smash- oh, that was because of Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Mortal Kombat, but the first character is the Fortnite guy, okay? Fortnite is, no. Why do we want, why would anyone want this character in Smash Bros? I know Fortnite is dead, so there won't be people requesting Fortnite characters in Smash Bros. But, yeah, Fortnite should not be in Super Smash Bros. Because Fortnite sucks, okay? Fortnite is garbage. Why would anyone want Fortnite in Smash Bros., okay? You know... I know they're probably gonna acknowledge Fortnite in some form as a bee costume or something, like a little freaking Undertale, okay? But come on, keep freaking Fortnite characters out of Super Smash Bros. These characters should not appear in Super Smash Bros., okay? You know, I know those rules in Smash Bros. keeping certain characters out, like non gaming characters, but come on, if we wanna put rules, we should put a rule saying no Fortnite in Smash Bros. Keep the crap out of Smash Bros., okay? Number two, Baldi, from Baldi's Basics. Yes, does anyone remember this game? Does anyone remember Baldi from Baldi's Basics? I don't certainly do. Baldi from Baldi's Basics is some game that, you know, people kept overhyping around when the game came out. Oh, Baldi's Basics is so great. You have to play this game. I played Baldi's Basics to just see this running around the school and chasing after it. All Baldi's basics that will do, all Baldi does is beat people up with rules. That's not good moveset potential, okay? I know they gave a plant with a pot a moveset, but Piranha Plant has a lot of different moves. All Baldi does is beat up people with a ruler and probably a book, okay? That isn't a good moveset, okay? You know, so yeah, Baldi will not be in Smash Brothers, okay? Baldi has even less moveset potential than other indie characters. For that, like for that, for example, if they want to put Baldi in Smash Bros, let's make him a me costume so we don't have to play as Baldi and make him optional. Next character is Bubsy. Bubsy the Bobcat. Everybody's least favorite mascot. Well, Bubsy is a character that. Is just terrible. The only good thing is that you get to beat the tower of Bubsy for the first time in gaming history. That my, but why would he want Bubsy in Super Smash Bros? Answer me. Why would he want this character to be in Smash Bros? You could have you could have Crash Bandicoot in Smash Bros. You could have Zeno, Sora, but you asked for Bubsy, and now we got Bubsy. This why would anyone want Bubsy in Smash Bros? For a Zoe character? That it? Bubsy will not be appearing in Super Smash Bros. Moving on. What other character? What other characters will not fit in Smash Bros? Hmm. When I think of characters that do not fit in Super Smash Bros, what instantly comes to mind? Well, of course, characters without legs. So, for example, Bullet Bill. Yes, Bullet Bill is a character from Super Mario. He is an item in Super Smash Bros. But why would Bullet Bill be a playable character? All he does is go around, all he does is chase after you and blow up when you touch him. That wouldn't make a good moveset. Okay, Piranha Plant worked because he's a, still, he could still move around in a plant in a pot. There were Piranha Plant that did have legs, like PD Piranha. And some in some older Mario games, but why would Nintendo put Boar Bill as a playable character? Why would what would make it wouldn't make sense? And also, Boar Bill is only an item, so yeah, Boar Bill will not be in Super Smash Brothers as a playable character. Next character, I know some people want to see him, but I will disappoint them and say Matt from Wii Sports. Matt from Wii Sports will not be appearing in Super Smash Brothers. I know he technically is already a Mii character. But we already have Mii Fighters in Smash Bros, okay? 
Matt is a me cat. He's a me. He's not a his own standalone character. And he should stay with the me's. Okay. Okay, that's the joke, actually. Matt is always in Smash Bros. Because me, he's a me brawl. Yeah, me brawl is always in Smash Bros. So yeah, technically Matt's always in Smash Bros. We'll skip that one. The real number five. Oh, yes. This character is just... Let's think of another character that would absolutely not would work in Smash Brothers. A character is a, would be unbelievably broken to such a degree. Well, I have a fifth character that will absolutely no re the reason why this character will not be in Smash Brothers because this character is not a good character. Let's meet everyone's favorite favorite Zelda character, Kebua Gebua. Or Navi. What does Kebua Gebua do to you? Okay. What does this character do? Well, I'll tell you what Kebua Gebua does. He tells you information you already know. I know you can skip. I know you can tell him no. We don't want the information explained to you. I think a lot of people hate Kebua Gebua because when they're kids, they accidentally pressed yes. And yeah, he explained it all to you again. But it's an owl. He just flies a wow. Okay, he flies around and he tells you stuff. That doesn't make for a good character in Super Smash Bros. It's just, he, why would you put Kebo Gabo over Impa? Over any actual relevant Zelda character. So yeah, Kebo Gabo will not be in Super Smash Bros. And the bonus fighter will be... Facade. Yeah, if you don't know who Facade is, he is from Mother Free. Yes, Mother Free. And yes, and he is he's a he is a guy that nobody likes. He doesn't even have a spirit in Super Smash Bros. I under I know why. Because Facade is a character that no one likes. He basically is the henchman of Porky Mints. And he abuses a fucking monkey. Why would he abuse a monkey? Yeah, this character is definitely never appearing in Super Smash Bros. Ever. So yeah. And yeah. And yeah, even it is a cis troll, even in this trophy that someone made, Facade, no, yeah, Facade will not be appearing in Super Smash Bros. So yeah, get out of here, Facade. You will not be appearing in Super Smash Bros. That's basically it. Goodbye.